wanted to do a quick video today on how to set up a stream PC using a singular mic and one headset in order to broadcast microphone audio and listen to both your stream PC and game PC all through a mixer. So one of the first things I wanted to uh, start off with is the type of mixer that you're going to need. You're going to need a mixer that has uh, two dedicated outputs but also needs probably a third for an aux output. So it would be three outputs. Uh, the number of inputs generally on a mixer almost always outdoes uh, the outputs. So what I would recommend here is uh, most mixers have a main and alternate channel. Both of those are two outputs. And then any mixer that has an aux send. Um, this particular mixer, is a Behringer X1204 USB. It actually has four outputs and eight inputs. Um, although I will say that five and six and seven or eight are really like one input, just in stereo. So first to start with the mixer, uh, one thing I wanted to comment on is a lot of people or a lot of stream setups that I've seen on YouTube have a situation where most people are running their headset microphone as the microphone that controls the the game PC audio in terms of its microphone uh, capabilities. And then they use the microphone that they set up uh, like a professional mic or, or XLR mic, or even a USB, say like a Blue Yeti or something that controls the stream PC microphone input. Uh, one thing I didn't want to do or, or anything like that is to spend more money on getting another microphone just because um, I wanted it to run separately on USB audio. So what I did is rather than buy another microphone and another potential uh, USB interface is I decided to just upgrade a mixer from pretty much a standard like $100 mixer that most people use for a stream PC setup. I went with a, about a $180 mixer in the Behringer because it had the right number of outputs that I would need in order to run this all using one headset and one microphone or the same microphone for both PCs. Uh, to start it off, I wanted to go ahead and explain the inputs themselves. Oops, let me turn on a little bit of light here. Uh, the inputs themselves, so each one of these vertical channels represents an input line uh, for this mixer. We have our XLR line or our microphone line in line one. So this whole row all the way going down the mixer represents all the controls for that. Uh, line two I have open. Line three, I run my stream PC audio out into this in, uh, out from my stream PC into line three. And that allows me to listen to anything that may be going on on my stream PC, such as follower notifications, donation notifications, or even music if I wanna play it on my stream PC. And it allows me to control via this fader whether or not I hear it in my headphone or not. Uh, line four is completely open. Line five and six, which is this line here with the fader up, actually runs my game PC audio input and I'll explain how it gets output to the stream PC shortly. And then right now, line seven and eight on this last one is completely open. Here, we have our Alt 3.4 mixer, which is anything that has this yellow light is an Alt 3.4, it goes to the Alt 3.4 line. And then we have our main mix, which is essentially any one of these lines that does not is not Alt is on the main line. So what I've done here is I've run my microphone into the XLR input. Uh, if you have a standard condenser mic, like a, a AT2050 by Audio-Technica is a really popular one. That would be a condenser mic or any sort of any other condenser mic. You would want to just go ahead and run that directly into the uh, port. Now I'm using a dynamic microphone. So I'm using this uh, line booster or a cloud lifter. Uh, it's about a, it's about another hundred dollars. This is just because I had this microphone sitting around for for when I play guitar, uh, so I used it for my voice as well. It's a really good microphone, but if you are using a dynamic microphone, you might want to get a line booster. Otherwise, you may have to boost your gain on the mixer too much over here, and you might get a little bit of a, a noise or buzz. The other thing I wanted to to quickly explain is that all of these lines going in and out are running through buzz boxes. And the reason why is because we're using digital signals going into an analog mixer, and then most of those signals are being presented back into a digital source through uh, analog cables. I do have one USB cable hooked up, which is a, already has its uh, analog to digital converter within the, the um, 
USB cable itself. But because of the analog to digital conversion, a lot of times you get a lot of different noise going on with the signal. And so I'm using Behringer uh, Micro HD 400 buzz boxes. They're about $20 on Amazon. Um, I have three of them, three of them. Okay, so first we explain the microphone. The microphone goes from an XLR cable in the back of the microphone to the input on the cloud lifter, out of the cloud lifter, into line one. Um, you'll notice my gain is about in the middle. Um, I don't know if you can actually tell that. Um, I have my compression all the way up. Uh, that's just because I actually had some background noise the other day and, and want to get rid of it. And then I have a, a slight EQ. So I pull down the mids a, a little bit and I boost up a little bit on the treble and a little bit on the bass. Um, here, all of these red knobs control one of the outputs. So this is essentially a mix on the output of aux send, which is this uh, blue coated cable here up at the top. So uh, within this microphone, I have it running on the main line and I have my XF, uh, my FX knob, which actually goes to this aux send two. So the red is an output and the orange is an output and it's on the main line because the light is not lit. The second cable that I have is a stereo cable that essentially comes out of my stream PC into the Behringer HD 400 buzz box, and then out of the Behringer HD 400 buzz box into line three via a USB 1 8 connector into a stereo uh, quarter inch. I'm sorry, this is a stereo, which you see the two lines on there, to a mono quarter inch. And this will play the, uh, the audio from my stream PC, whatever I run on my stream PC, into this mixer. I have that line going into the alternate line. And then what I'm actually doing over here is listening to the alternate line on the headphone channel. Next, we have our game PC. The game PC has a 1 8 inch uh, stereo output, very similar to this one right here, which splits into two monos, a left and a right, at the buzz box. Then at the buzz box, we have two monos that come out of the buzz box into the mixer, into the left and right five and six channels. Here we have all of this control, basically down the middle, we have a little bit of a bass boost, a little bit of a treble boost, on the uh, on the game PC, this is just a little bit of my preferences. I play a lot of games that have uh, sort of a a, a bassy uh, sound when people are walking around, and so if I can get just a little bit of boost on the bass uh, when I hear people walking around, then I can get a little bit of a heads up that somebody is actually moving around me. A lot of first person shooters uh, do that. The other thing that you'll notice is that on this line, I'm also routing it to the aux send one output, which is that top output with the blue again. This allows me to use this output as the stream PC input. So what comes out of here is an instrument cable, just any sort of a quarter inch mono to mono guitar cable. And then on the other end of that is a another HD 400 buzz box. Coming out of that is a mono to stereo duplicator, which actually takes this signal out here and turns it into a stereo signal um, at the stream PC. Lastly, uh, the thing that I'll explain is that this FX knob halfway goes to this black instrument cable, which goes to my game PC in the microphone input on the rear. And this same exact setup takes place where we have this stereo cable. The stereo cable goes into the buzz box, out of the bugs bu buzz box via a quarter inch to one eighth inch stereo cable uh, interconnect. And that acts as my default microphone device for my game PC. So by having the default microphone come out of the mixer into my game PC, I could still talk into uh, games such as Counter-Strike or Rainbow Six Siege. I could talk via the in-game audio using the singular microphone and not having to worry about having a microphone on my headset. By having this cable come out, it controls all the audio into OBS via my stream PC. And then this audio source input, but routed on the alt line using the aux send line for the stream PC and the alt line for my headphones allows me to completely control 
the game audio in my headphones independent with this knob than what it is on my stream PC. By doing this, the beauty is, is let's say I'm playing music for my stream and I am listening to music. I can have the, the fader on this line, which is the stream PC output to mixer input line. I could be listening to music that's playing on my stream PC. And let's say it uh, we're playing song requests and it's a troll song or something like that. You can simply turn this fader down and you don't have to listen to it. Or perhaps you're in a clutch situation, CSGO, or Rainbow Six Siege, and you don't want to hear music, you want to hear footsteps, you can simply turn down that music as well. So I'm going to go ahead and post up a diagram. It'll be up for about 30 seconds on what the wiring exactly looks like. I also have a cable list, which describes each, each one of the cables that exists uh, that's out there. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments. Uh, if you want me to get a little bit more detailed on how to set up any of these lines, go ahead and post it in the comments or hit me up on Twitter and I can help you out with your setup. Uh, what I did find is that there was sort of a lack of videos on YouTube or in the Twitterverse, however you want to call it, um, on videos describing how to set up stream PCs and game PCs to work together using just one microphone and one headset. Uh, most of the time people would use uh, a headset microphone, which would be different for their, for their game PC than their nice microphone for their uh, stream. And then sometimes other people even had different audio sources to where they can't hear what's happening on the stream PC. It Only the stream hears it. So I wanted to be able to show a little bit of a video how to do that. And then, of course, you'll see the diagram shortly on exactly uh, how to wire this. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to you all later.